The Whitman Battenfeld R8.3 control has added new features, one of those being the quick new function, which allows for an easy setup from a singular page to set the proxies for quick edit programs. Previously on the 8 series, the selection for the functionality or the processes required were done from a folder selection. The quick new now allows you to go through a easy setup to make these selections. To do this, select the quick new tab at the lower portion of the control. And the first screen that will appear will prompt you to answer which apparatus will be used to hold the part. Vacuums, which will be displayed in the graphic with vacuum cups. If gripper is selected, the image will change in the graphic to the part being held by grippers. If you want to have a sprue held, gripper number one will be used, and if you select it from the checkbox, the image will appear that the part will be held with vacuum cups and the runner will be held with a sprue grip. You can also decide on the R8.3 whether the runner will be dropped prior to placing or after placing. Simply select the browser key and the drop down will appear that you want to select whether you will place the runner before part placing or after. When this is accomplished and this screen is complete, you can select the next tab at the lower portion of the control or you can go to process number two, which will allow you to describe whether you are going to be taking the part with multiple vacuums or grippers. The question, how many separate placing positions will be used, is looking at the number of vacuum circuits available on your specific robot. Based on the number of vacuum circuits you have, if we had four, we would see four. If we only had two vacuum circuits, we would only see the choice being one or two. In this instance, we'll say that we're going to use two separate vacuum circuits to hold the part, and we'll select that part one will be held with vacuum one, and part two will be held with vacuum two. Select the next tab and the screen will proceed to the graphic showing the part being placed in a granulator. This is the reject selection. By checking the checkbox, we will be able to respond to a startup reject where you can enter the amount or the number of rejects that will be done every time the robot is put into auto, or it will respond to an IMM reject signal. Uncheck if you don't want this sequence in your program. Select the next tab and the screen will prompt you to answer whether you want a random QC sequence that will have a QC auto switch on the front of the control and allow QC to randomly come down at any time and the next good part will be delivered to QC. Select next and you can have the selection if you had chosen that you will be taking the sprue and you want to have a sprue cutter position select the drop down and on the quick new you can have up to nine sprue cutting positions select the number of positions required and select next the next prompt and graphic will ask you if you are going to have a early ejector sequence. Using smart removal, we can allow the ejector to be signaled to move forward as the robot approaches the pick position. By selecting this checkbox, as the graphic will show, the ejectors start to move the part forward as the robot is coming into the pick position. And the same thing for the retraction process of the ejectors. If you choose to check the ejectors will move back, the graphic shows that as we pull away from the mold face, the ejectors are traveling to its retracted position. 
Also added on the R83 quick new functions is a pot break location. By checking the pot break location, it allows you to program the robot to pull the pot off of the mold face at a slower speed to a position that is teachable, at which point the robot will increase its speed out of the mold. Select Next, and you can choose whether you want this program to utilize Eco Mode, which will allow the robot to slow itself outside of the mold area only to return to the above mold position at a required time prior to mold open. This is set in the eco buffer which will be available in the quick edit functionalities. Select next and here you can teach the program name, input it via the keypad, Also on the tool data screen, you can select the tool data screen. You can put ejector stroke size. Also, if you have an image of the pot or the tool, you would have the ability to add an image into this tool data, which will appear every time this program is reopened. When ready, Create this template program by simply selecting Create. And a quick edit program will appear allowing you to teach the items necessary to run this program su successfully.